Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Excited to be with you today. I hope that there are some people who are going to join me live. I want to talk about something that came up this week uh, at one of my Girl Life Empowerment workshops. So I was piloting uh, every time before I create, before I actually put out a workshop to share with the facilitators, uh, the Girl Life facilitators, I pilot them in my own community first. And this is just like great information about what works, what doesn't work. Um, and th this workshop was called The Leader in Me. And one of the qualities that we discussed as a group was that to be an effective leader and to really uh, take leadership seriously, we have to be willing to fail. And uh, I, the reaction I got from the girls was unbelievable. So when we talked about this concept, they were all like, oh God, I don't want to fail. Um, no, failing can't be a positive thing. Why would we want to fail? And there was this overall stigma associated with failing already at these young ages of seven, eight, and nine years old, uh, which were was the basic demographic of the girls I had this week. So already there was this big stigma. And of course, I'm sure you're hearing me use the word failure and you're thinking um, not very positive connotations. And I, I too, you know, my initial reaction is always failure. Oh God, no. And I think this really comes from our need for perfectionism. Like we all strive for this uh, unusual, not like feasible, um, you know, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Somebody help me out here. This um, this idea that we should be perfect when really it's like, that's not real. That's not a real goal for us to desire. So what I want to invite us all to do is um, to really think of ourselves and our children and think of the word failure and use it as, as um, a way to get to the successes that we wish for. So I'm calling this failing forward. So we're not gonna uh, you know, try to get our kids, hi Charmin, what's up? Good to have you here. Um, we are not going to be trying to teach our kids to fail all the time. That's not what this is about. It's about teaching them that if they fail, it's okay because it's really part of life. Failure is information. So every time we fail at everything, Thanks, thanks, Charmin. She likes my sweater. Thank you. Um, every time we fail at something, we are gaining new information. We can take that information and use it to grow, to evolve, and to succeed potentially the next time or the time after that. You know, if we look historically, uh, we can look at Einstein. We can look at um, we could look at uh, Abraham Lincoln. We can look at even people like Oprah who had they not failed, they wouldn't have had the accomplishments they had today. So they failed and, and they took that information, they took those, um, those learnings and used them to better themselves and used them to, uh, to come up with a better strategy to achieve whatever it was that they wanted to achieve. So failing forward and really trying to talk to our kids in a different way about failure. So uh, we invite them to try because if they fear failure, just like we do, I, I know with so many things in my own life, I so fear failure that I don't even try. And so what's the point in that? Like to have these dreams and have these goals and have things that we wanna do that we won't even try on because we're afraid we won't succeed. Um, failure is a stepping stone to success. I, I really want us all to revisit this idea of how we feel about failure, how we respond to failure, how we grow from failure. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Sarah Blakely. She is the inventor of Spanx, um, which is like genius. She came up with this business idea. And she always says that as she was growing up, her father would ask her and her uh, siblings every day, they would say, um, how did you fail? What did you fail at today? And that was the dinner conversation at the table that he would be asking, how did you fail? Because he regarded failure as such a positive that he invited them to talk about it at the dinner table and to understand that it's a part of life and it happens to all of us and that there's no reason to, uh, to not try because we fear the failure. So 
Uh, that's really my message for today. If anyone wants to share something in their own life that they, life that they failed at, I could tell you for sure my failures have taught me so much. Uh, in certain circumstances, my failures really taught me how important something was that I wanted in my life. So sometimes, I think one of my very dear friends, Michelle, she said something to me once that she had read in a book. And basically it was like sometimes there are walls built around us just to remind us of how, some, how important something is for us. So ask yourself what's important to you. Um, and just because you fail once doesn't mean you'll fail again. And even if you do, it's, it's a learning opportunity. There's always, always information coming uh, from those failures. I'm just going to see here from my notes. I know I wanted to discuss some other things with you guys about failing and failing forward. Um, I think, you know what, I really do think I covered it all. Oh, just something else. Just we don't want to tell our kids, hey, fail on purpose. That's not what this is about. We're not going to be like, go out and fail. No, we inevitably all fail at something. Something doesn't always go the way we anticipated first time around, second time around. Um, so we're just saying, if you fail, it's okay. We're not saying go out there and fail. Uh, but when they come home and they tell us, hey, you know what, I, I tried out for the school play and uh, I didn't get in, we'll be like, you know what, congratulations, that's okay. This is, you know, this is a very normal thing uh, to happen and, and it happens to all of us and maybe next time you will, um, will do something differently or you'll try it for a different part or maybe this is information that this isn't even what you wanted so much from the beginning, but it just taught you to get to the next step of what you actually do want. So failing with grace, failing with ease, understanding that it's part of our lives, um, and starting, starting with our young girls as young as they come to tell them that this is okay. What, what the biggest true failure to me is not trying, not even like putting putting one foot in front of the other and doing that thing that you really want to do. I think that for us is the biggest um, you know, tragedy, if anything, is to not try at all. Uh, that's all for today, guys. I'd love to hear your comments about your ideas of failure. Uh, I hope that this video helps you to fail forward and to inspire your kids to fail forward. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.